Your experiment with truth at the level of the cardiac plexus, also known as the heart chakra, is your experiment with your true self. It is the self which is the reflection in your heart of the absolute beauty of the source of life. One thing is important to understand. You cannot force it. The process of becoming one with truth is effortless. All pictures, music, and sounds of nature have been carefully chosen to lift you into your own inner peace and freedom. You must only watch, listen, and feel. Before we come to the experimental part of the program, we will repeat the introduction. Now how can you experiment with truth? Truth is what it is. It cannot be changed and it cannot be conceptualized. But truth can be felt. Your own body is the instrument of truth. In every human being, energy centers are to be found on the autonomic nervous system. These centers are connected to every cell in the body through the nerves and are called chakras. The centers are a direct instrument of the truth. They reflect the destructive as well as the constructive behavior of man towards his environment and towards himself. Fear, worry, stress, anger, greed, egotism, and so forth irate the nerves in the body and overload the energy centers of your autonomic nervous system. With the help of the nervous system, one can discover the reasons for a positive or negative attitude to life and the reasons why sicknesses occur. How does that work? In the sacrum bone, just below the base of the spine, resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. Through this subtle system of perception, that is the system which registers the truth about everything, you are able to discern your own mastership and what should be your right conduct towards God, mankind and nature. Whatever you will now feel is information about the true conditions of your energy centers. And that is your experiment with truth. You can feel it in your hands, above your head, in your body, and in your heart. The awakening of Kundalini and man is the blossoming of the seeds which all the great incarnations have sown. Lord Krishna, Lord Rama, Lord Jesus, Lord Muhammad, Lord Confucius, Lord Lao Tse, Lord Buddha, Lord Jnanadeva, Guru Nanak, and others. Kundalini is the power which enlightens mankind. And through this, a new step in evolution is achieved. Her Holiness Srimataji Nirmala Devi has developed a simple method by which Kundalini, through her love, can be spontaneously, gently, and effortlessly awakened. Sri Mataji's desire is to give whosoever wishes it their enlightenment through this motherly, primordial power. The easiest way to raise this majestic mother within you 
is to just put your right hand on top of your head as Sri Mataji is doing and ask, Mother, please give me enlightenment. Sri Mataji calls this process Sahaja Yoga, the spontaneous connection of our attention with the all-pervading power of love. Feel that pure desire in your heart to be one with truth. Air is the element of the heart. Wind is its expression in nature. Through deep and relaxed breathing, the air element can help relieve tensions at the heart level. The true self in human and all living beings reflects the absolute beauty of life. The true self is pure spirit in you. It does not identify with mental concepts, prejudice, hate, envy, vanity, fear, insecurity, anger or lust. It is the reflection of the universal love and innocence in every person. Make your own experiment. Experience the absolute beauty of the all-pervading power of life. Truth and reality is what you feel deep in your heart. Let's set out on the journey to your true self. Please sit upright and relaxed, cross-legged on the floor if it is comfortable, or if you choose to sit on a chair, place the feet a little apart without shoes. Rest your hands, palms open and upward on your lap. Watch and listen. This experiment is your own. Allow yourself to be led by the music, by the sounds and the pictures. They are timeless. They are here. They are in the present moment. And when you become one with them, you are one with the eternal present. Test your ability to realize your true self. When the Kundalini rises, you will feel a cool or perhaps a warm breeze on the palm of your hands, on your face, above your head, or perhaps a tingling in certain fingers, or similar sensations within your body. Truth will reveal itself to you on your very hands, in your heart. So begins your experiment with truth. You feel the actual state of your own body, soul, and spirit. Worries, doubts, and aggressions drift away in the wind of truth. Hear the wind. The wind blows where it will. The wind blows in your heart. The cool breeze on your hands and head in your heart is reality. It is the speech of the true, perfect self in you. When you feel the coolness, you experience the oneness with that perfection. It is absolute bliss. Sri Mataji near Maladevi expresses a continuous oneness with this all-pervading, beautiful Self. I bow to all the seekers of Truth. Today I am going to tell you about the nature of Spirit. Truth is what it is. It cannot be conceptualized and cannot be felt at this human awareness. For that you have to become a subtler being that we call as the Spirit. The Spirit, when it starts flowing, through your central nervous system you develop a new dimension 
on your nerves by which you can feel your own centers that is self knowledge and you can feel the centers of others spirit is the reflection of the father the god almighty the seat of that is on top of fontanel bone area but he is reflected in our heart while kundalini is the reflection of the holy ghost the primordial mother so this spirit when it is enlightened into our attention our attention becomes active deep and relaxed breathing the air element can help relieve tensions at the heart level now let's breathe together a few deep breaths from the abdomen now as you continue with these deep breaths say in your mind on the out breath I am not this body Mother I am not this body As you breathe in ask who am I As you hold that breath say I am the spirit Mother I am the spirit Now as you breathe out I am not this body and breathe in mother who am i and as you hold your breath i am the spirit and continue like this for a short while spirit is the source of truth absolute truth your stress your worries all disappear because spirit is the source of peace For the first time you feel this all pervading power which does all the living work. Once you are connected to this divine power then you all become part and parcel of the whole. 
you are not only guided but also very much protected and blessed. Especially it gives you joy. Joy cannot be expressed, cannot be described. It doesn't have duality of happiness and unhappiness. It is absolute in its nature. It is just to be experienced and that is what will happen to you. Meditation begins when you feel the cool breeze above your head. If you feel this cool breeze, you are thoughtlessly aware, joyful, satisfied, desireless, truly free, and you realize the beauty of your absolute self. The spirit tells us what is wrong with us. This is the last judgment. Also, this is the resurrection time. We are going to judge ourselves and we are going to resurrect ourselves through Sahaja Yoga. In the light of the Spirit, gradually you understand this divine power which is all-pervading. And if you know how to work out this divine power, you can also raise the Kundalini of others and give them realization. An enlightened soul, even a glance of such a person can manifest peace, joy in the other person. If you've not felt this gentle coolness, there are still some obstructions in your subtle system, including the level of your heart. The nerves in this area become irritated and reveal the obstruction through tingling on the hands, on the little fingers, number four, or through problems with the breathing, the lungs or the heart, or even on the forearms or calves. And so you'll become your own master, because your own Kundalini will show you if you act against your true self. Obstructions may result from overindulgence in material matters and forgetfulness of pure spirit. Even if you have just briefly felt a cool breeze on the hands or a tingling in certain fingers or a state of deep well-being, proceed with your experiment with truth and you will again witness how your body, in its new alertness, communicates the relief of rising above the illusions of guilt, fear, and vanity. Fresh air and deep, relaxed breathing help to relieve tensions at the heart level. In truth, you are the eternal spirit within, and as you are that, you can feel the cool breeze over your head and over the heads of other realized souls. When your kundalini rises, you feel the actual state of your own body, soul and spirit. If you do not feel the cool breeze and you want a clearer experience of your kundalini awakening, then the following exercise with Shimataji will help. Make your own experiment with the guidance of Shimataji Nirmaladevi. She is master of Kundalini. Please sit upright and relaxed, cross-legged on the floor, or if you choose to sit on a chair, place the feet a little apart without shoes. Rest your hands, palms open and upward on your lap. And now, Please put your right hand on your heart. And here you have to say with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. I have already told you that the greatest truth about you is that you are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not these emotions and you are not these conditionings and 
you are not this ego, but you are pure spirit. The divine power is the source of knowledge. It is the source of joy and ocean of blessings. It is the ocean of love and compassion. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. Uh, whatever mistakes you commit can be dissolved completely by this great power of forgiveness. There should be introspection. What do I want in this life? I should be able to love many more people without any lust or greed or expectations. All right. Then the floods of abstract love will flow. Whenever you feel this cool breeze, you are in truth, and you can find truth in all cultures. Try to feel the truth that flows from the ancient culture of the natives of North America. The light of the Great Spirit. The indigenous peoples of the North American continent worship the sun, not as God, but as a revelation of the Great Spirit who as such gifted them with a source of life. They saw their fellow man as wakan, meaning holy, because the soul is an expression of divinity. In fact, not only man, but the entire nature was seen as holy. Whether it was the elements, or the buffaloes, or the mountains, the rivers, the eagles, or the stars. A great Sioux chief named Hiyaka Sapra, or Black Elk, who was endowed with deep wisdom, said about the Great Spirit, I am blind and cannot see the things of this earth. But when the light shines from above, it lights my heart. And I know that the eye of the heart sees everything. Please join us again in the next edition of Experiments with Truth when we reach the door of paradise.